We're going on a yacht getaway. Let's go. We took an amazing seven-day cruise through the Greek islands of Corfu, Paxos, and Antipaxos, with stops at Parga and Sivota, while sailing the Greece Sionian Explorer with yacht getaways. If you're planning to visit Greece, this is the best way to island hop and explore out-of-the-way places, quiet coves, and picture-perfect villages while having the trip of a lifetime. In today's video, we're going to show you exactly what to expect on a small yacht cruise through the Greek islands and how you can start planning your own Greek getaway today. Let's go on a cruise with Yacht Getaways! We have arrived at the Ionian Explorer here at the Corfu port and we're about to go and travel through the Ionian Islands here in Greece on our catamaran. We just had our safety briefing and we're about to take off. All right, so I just wanted to give you a tour of our cabin. It's really actually a big bed. There's not a lot of storage space, so pack really light. You don't need a lot anyway, a bathing suit and something to wear, you know, when you go to shore, but that's about it. But uh, there's not a lot of storage space, so make sure you bring uh, like not a big suitcase. A um, uh, duffel bag would be best if you're just coming straight here. And uh, there's a little drawer here. So that's where we put like our shoes and stuff like that. And then we've got all of our electronics. This is our main stuff. <laughs> So we've got that. I have brought a coffee mug and a water bottle, which are, is really great that I just refill. It's much better than the little glasses. Now this is our closet. I ended up, if you can, maybe bring some extra hangers. I ended up hanging everything. I have like four shirts on one thing. This uh, pack safe toiletry bag is the best because I keep everything in there. And there's no space to put any bag or anything down there. So maybe you could put some water shoes or something. It's messy, but I thought I'd show you what it really looks like. I've got all my bathing suits and swimwear up there hanging from the fan. Oh, I, I, that's my fan too. I brought an extra fan. Those are our lights. That's where I, we're keeping all of our sunglasses and glasses and stuff. You can put whatever you want there. I've hung our hats just on the, the blinds. And keep the curtains closed to keep it nice and cool in here. Our catamaran was a 42-foot yacht that slept eight guests. Cruises start at 1,464 euros per person, and our boat was in the superior category. Guests can book a room or an entire boat. We have two amazing crew members, our skipper Anna and host Clara, who also helped with docking, anchoring, and was always ready to dive in whenever we needed to secure our boat in the most obscure of places. While they worked, we'd help when we can, but mostly we enjoyed the relaxing and decadent atmosphere of yachting through the Greek islands with our own personal crew. It's always a feast here on Yacht Getaways. Food's amazing. Breakfast and lunch were included and served with beverages including beer and wine. Clara made us amazing meals each day and really took pride in serving an array of dishes from fresh seafood to Greek specialties along with fruits and awesome salads. Anna worked hard to get us to the best parking slips in port each day and when we arrived at our destinations, all we had to do was step off the boat to explore the villages and beaches. Nice parking spot. So we're docking in the village of Alaka here on Paxos and it's a beautiful little bay here surrounded by nice little white cliffs. It's a really perfect place to spend the day. Well, this is amazing. We are actually docking here in Paxos for the night and we have beautiful turquoise water, beaches around us. We're gonna be eating on shore. How lucky are we? We get to enjoy this bay all day and all night. Each day we visit a different town that we are free to explore on our own to do some shopping, take a look around and enjoy sunset cocktails before dinner. 
In Laka, we highly recommend taking a hike to the secret beach that is about 20 minutes out of town. We're off to the secret beach here on Paxos. Here we are at the secret beach. A little pebbly, a little rocky, but beautiful water. And wow, what scenery. Hello, enjoying Greece. The water is so warm. It's, it's beautiful, it's clear. It's so hot outside, it feels great. I love the sea. We set sail each morning, and while we enjoy coffee and breakfast, Anna and Clara are hard at work making sure we are having the time of our lives. Before reaching the next village, we stop at secret swimming spots and beaches in the middle of the sea. Here we had time to enjoy our lunch and hop in for some fun in the sun. There are paddle boards on board, snorkeling gear, floats, and noodles. Each time we stop, Anna announced, the swimming pool is open, and we hopped on in. Not a bad swim spot. It's amazing to be away from the crowded beaches of the islands and to enjoy a day in the water in complete solitude. One of our favorite stops was at the Blue Lagoon, where we snorkeled and paddleboarded into the beautiful cave. This is spectacular. One of the best things to do in Gios is to rent an e-bike or a quad bike to go around the island. And the best thing you can do first is to go see the Tripitos Arch. It's a few kilometers out of town and then you get to walk down 500 meters down this very historic looking path. And then we're going to come and see something special, I think. This is totally worth coming out to. Yeah, it is a massive arch and it's spectacular along the seaside here. Woo! Look at that. This was completely surprising. I had seen pictures of the arch, but I didn't know there were these massive sea cliffs. It's just spectacular. But be really careful. The path is narrow and there are no barriers, so pay attention as you could go over. Those are sheer drops. So make sure you're prepared for the hike. Wear good shoes, bring plenty of water, and wear a hat. It is hot out there. hot. So it's completely incredible. You can walk over the arch and the arch isn't as scary as it looks. It's a nice wide path. So I feel quite safe up here, which is good to know because from up there it looks a little scary, but no, you can walk over it. The town of Gios is the capital of Paxos with plenty of restaurants, boutiques, beaches, and cafes. Formerly ruled by the Venetians, the waterfront town will remind you of a little slice of Venice. After exploring the island, we grabbed an apparel spritz at the Harborside Cocktail Bar before dining beside its historic church. I love that we're eating in the square right by the church. The towns really come to life at night with outdoor dining and shopping and with our boat docked right at the waterfront, we could enjoy the lively towns for as long as we wanted before setting sail the next morning. Up here is my favorite spot. Love it. I'm sailing. The experience is interactive and you can be as involved as much or as little as you like. We had the opportunity to captain the boat when we were in wide open seas and we took turns helping Clara and Anna with anchoring and docking when they needed it. 
These two ladies worked hard, so it was fun to pitch in whenever we could. I'm ready. Well done, well done. All right, now I have to cut the Okay, so I Well, the joys of being the tourist on the yacht is that the crew member just takes over for you. Clara did all the hard work. I just got to do the fun part of throwing the rope. I'm on the lines today. I'm practicing my flicking. So that it makes it. How do I look? Professional. <laughs> One of the things I do love about this Yacht Getaways uh, trip here is you get to go into these small little bays. You can stay away from the really popular uh, parts of the smaller towns, but you really get uh, the feeling of, you know, old Greek while you're here in these small little harbors. The Yacht Getaways experience feels like a family affair. There are two group dinners where we can bond with our yacht companions and crew, and we had a cocktail night and plenty of time on the boat to get to know one another. With the perfect blend of adventure, relaxation, and cultural experiences, it truly is an amazing way to explore the Greek islands. There are some excursions offered, and we took advantage of the wine and olive oil tasting when we visited one of our favorite stops, Parga. This is Parga. Parga is located on the mainland and it's another town that was under Venetian rule. It has impressive beaches, water sports, and you must go up to the Venetian castle for views of the city. We're doing a wine tasting in an old olive oil factory and it is the best setting to do a wine tasting. It just feels very vintage. So I've really enjoyed this wine tasting. I think Cassie has been one of the most informative sommeliers I've ever encountered. Most people have me drink the wine, I say what I think it is, and they tell me yes or no. She's very passionate. I love it. For the wine tasting, we had six generous pours of Greek wines, followed by a full glass of our favorite, along with a serving of bruschetta. Set in an old olive oil factory, we also added a tasting of olive oils to our itinerary. It was only an extra five euro on top of the 40 euro for the wine tasting. All right, we're tasting olive oil here. I see how good my palate is. See, or see which one I like the most, really. So, how do you taste olive oil? A little bit of bread. Put it in, press down, press. Taste the olive oil. It's a good, intense flavor with just a little bit in the back of the throat here, which I assume means it's good. And then you eat the bread. Tasting with a spoon is the way to do it. It makes for an excellent evening in Parga. The trip ends right where it began in Corfu, and we highly recommend spending at least two days before or after the trip enjoying this beautiful town. You can watch our Corfu video in the links below. One of the must attractions is the old fort, and for our final stop, we enjoyed one last swim and lunch beneath the ancient structure. We have set up lunch right underneath the old fort. Is this incredible? What a great view of the old town and the old fort. And we're going to go for a swim in front of it too. Swimming beneath a fort here in Corfu town. Here we go. <laughs> well, this yacht getaway trip has been incredible. It definitely has. We've been to castles, amazing fishing villages, incredible swim places like this one behind us. It really has everything. It's a great way to explore all of the islands, get off the beaten path, and get into places before everybody else. Yeah, highly recommend it. 
A yacht getaway is a super way to rub elbows with the rich and famous without needing to drop a couple hundred million dollars. If you are ready to explore the Ionian Islands, check out the Yacht Getaways website for more details in the links below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel because we put up new travel videos each week.